and Mark Halshalter. Did I say that right? Always. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the deputy, no, you're an attorney. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, I am. Yeah. Would you like Doesn't he look like one? <laughs> yeah. Um, 10 years in prison for smuggling Yorkies. Now, I know they have serious laws in Australia, you know, to mitigate biosecurity risks. But no one's putting Johnny Depp in jail for 10 years. Come on, Jack Sparrow? Not going to happen. It's not going to happen. What I think is going to happen, they're going to, his team is going to reach out to a criminal defense guy in Australia, get someone in contact. What he's going to do is take early acceptance of responsibility, say, hey, guys, I am way sorry. Acknowledge the seriousness of his crime. And then, you know, who knows? He may be the new spokesperson for, you know, biohazards and, you know, making sure that the ecosystem is intact. Because what they're worried about, as you guys know, is, you know, endangering the crops and other species by having a... Uh, other animals coming in. But come their, on, Janelle. Uh, they didn't look like a, there, look like a big PR stunt from the beginning, from Australia's point of view. Well, if it is a PR stunt, it's a terrible one because you don't start off by threatening to kill dogs. Right. Um, you'd be better off threatening to kill Johnny Depp's assistant before you go after the dogs. Mm. Nobody wants to see that happen. Uh, I'm more worried about the pilot, who I understand could be also in trouble. Could be in trouble. Yeah, because he doesn't have the money or the fame that Johnny Depp does. Well, well, uh, Johnny Depp is a point on this, and again, their their focus is going to be on him. And I think if he uh, just takes responsibility, apologizes a little, mea culpa, mea culpa, I think it's going to be all right. I guess what I was saying is, from the beginning, the Minister of Agriculture had been calling him the sexiest man alive. <laughs> he mockingly. was talking about we say mockingly, mockingly, right? Sarcastically, yeah. That he was, you know, Jack Sparrow, blah blah blah, and you know, he's not above the law. He yes. needs to get his dogs out of here. He's going to make an example of this heinous crime. But right. they got the dogs out. Come on, exactly. that's the important part. Yeah. And they were we so can cute. relax. Let's relax. Why does Australia hate Johnny Depp? <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, really, he's filming a movie there. Right. You know, he's bringing them um, business, I assume, and uh, taking the film industry out of Hollywood, as it were. Maybe they saw Mordecai. That, and then a lot of people are saying that could have been <laughs> the reason everyone's so angry with him. Um, these are two Yorkies, yes. too. I mean, how much, how much of a bio threat? Could they really be? Terrier. Yeah, I guess rules are rules. All right, from Yorkies to embryos. Let's talk about this. Yes. If you are keeping score of Sofia Vergara's frozen embryo battle with her ex-fiance, it's score one for Nick Loeb. Mm -hmm. So last week, a judge granted Loeb permission to file a revised lawsuit to seek custody of these two frozen embryos. The couple created them back when they were still together, back in 2013. So this is the second lawsuit the guy filed. He first sued Vergara in 2014. He was trying to void the contract that they both signed when they created these embryos using his sperm, her eggs. You know how babies are made. Well, that contract stated, quote, any embryos created through the process could be brought to term only with both partners' consent. So in the newly amended lawsuit that he's just been granted, Loeb will now specifically be suing for custody of these embryos. Uh, has this happened is before and with the popularity of egg freezing now? Or is this something we're going to see more of? This is really novel. And again, it's kind of interesting how both sides of this legal battle are uh, portraying it. You have Sophia, which is obviously, it's this contract law. Well, we had a contract. We both signed it. Right. You know, it's black and white, and this is treated as property. Mm -hmm. Loeb's camp is starting to talk about his two daughters, you know, oh, this family, right. and yeah. putting it into terms of custody. Mm -hmm. Custody is a terminology used in family law versus property, which is standardly used in, you know, a civil lawsuit. Mm -hmm. So one camp wants it purely viewed as property. The other camp wants it as, you know, almost like adoption or family law. Yeah, this has got to be pretty hurtful to oh. Sofia Vergara. You know, she just wants to put this to rest. I mean, she had, uh, has said that she really has no plans at this point of unfreezing the embryos or destroying them. But now it's sort of like he just wants custody. She has a new fiance. You know, they're talking about having children as well. And if anything, it's, I guess, a little reassuring to all the women out there that it indicates that even someone like Sofia Vergara can have horrible taste in men. Right, That's, <laughs> yeah. that is comforting. Yeah, this guy just seems like a real dirtbag. What about all these women that um, freeze embryos with their boyfriends? You know, I mean, it's, it's not really like a whim thing to do because it's exceedingly expensive, right? So when you get into a situation with someone like this, I mean, they already signed a contract. She said, hey, if you were so concerned, you weren't when the lawyers went over this deal. I mean, how do you know that when you break up, like, what's going to happen to this? It's not like we, sh we share a summer house. That is the exact argument Sophia is using mm -hmm. is, hey, this is governed by contract law. Follow the contract. We had an agreement. We both signed it. We both knew what was going on. And now uh, 
Nick Loeb doesn't want to play by the rules, so he's uh, bringing this lawsuit. Poor judge. Again, like I said last time we were on, it's a tough decision. I mean, this is a novel area, but mm -hmm. what I think is going to happen, stand by the contract. These are two adults. They signed it. They mm -hmm. knew what they were doing. And, you know, let's hold people responsible. And enough's enough. Yeah. All right. I don't think enough will be enough here. Do you have any questions for Charlie Charlie? <laughs> I've never heard of this. This is fascinating to me. Oh, Just yes. wait. Just wait Just until wait. you see. <laughs> All right, Janelle Mark. Until you see him appear. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. Or something. I'm going to get out of the studio before that happens. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Warning. Janelle Riley, Mark Househalter. Thanks a lot, guys. I always have a trouble.